What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nasty Foodie Fitness here. This was initially going to be a week in the life video, but what I realized was that as I recorded snippets of my like day-to-day -day life, it pretty much ended up being a whole collection of videos of food. And so I've decided to take out all the million eventful things that have been going on in my life currently sarcasm and instead make this video a kind of cook with me type of video like i will say i am more of an eater than i am a a chef i like to make things that are pretty easy don't take a lot of time and you can make like a whole batch of it pretend that you're gonna space it out and eat it throughout the week but then end up eating it in one sitting I'm that kind of person and so hopefully give you guys a few different ideas of things that you can make at home. Basically the recipes are all super super simple, you know the more I think about it the more I, I feel this video is really not that necessary, they're really that simple. But anyway, I'm going to put this video together as you guys did say in a previous video that you wanted more cooking with Nutty Foodie Fitness and so this is exactly what you guys are getting. And so if you're ready for an entire video of cooking then please give the video a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe if you are new around here and you end up quite liking the content. But anyway, I'm not going to hype the video too much, but hopefully it gives you a few ideas of what things you can do. Enjoy! Damn, look at that tower. <laughs> look at that absolute mountain. And then just a little bit of cheese sprinkled on top of that. Yo. Once I fold this, everything is gonna go out, so I just thought I would show you the wrap right now in the pan. Probably just eat it from the pan. Don't mind me, I just accidentally deleted the most aesthetically pleasing footage of that cheesy chicken wrap. I'm so gutted. There was even cheesy coleslaw on every bite. Just to make up for the fact that I deleted that glorious chicken wrap footage, we have chicken wrap footage um, number two with southern fried chicken, garlic filled olive, the salad that goes in, and then the dips, and then all the sauces. Let me assemble it. Not as good as the last time, but we have the southern fried chicken, we have the lettuce, we have barbecue sauce, we've got Doritos, lettuce, some pickles, we have a singing mum in the background. A massive, no, it just looked like a taco. You can see the Doritos in there. I just fried together some red peppers, yellow peppers, green peppers, onion and strips of beef. Just added some salsa and bam, you've got fajitas. I had leftover wraps so hence why I've just chucked in this bit of footage. Because a lot of the things are basically then just like a leftover component of a certain dish that I've then used the next day but kind of made it different, if that makes sense. So this is like a ratatouille slash pisto concoction, which um, if you watch my video where I ate Spanish food for a whole day, you'll see how this is made in that video. But again, I'm just trying to show some different meal ideas. Let's go. Thank you. 
So here's one way to use the leftover chicken from last night and the leftover ratatouille. In broccoli, there's couscous, but barbecue sauce, the chicken, and then the um, ratatouille. But another thing that you could do with any leftover chicken, some chicken wraps, just a bit of salad, mayo, bish bash bosh, two different ideas in one. This is going to be like the salsa guac situation and for now I'm going to put everything into the slow cooker, sweet potatoes will be done later. So I just want to show you guys, this has now been cooking for the longest time. Um, I just gave this a taste test and I cannot actually express to you, the longer it cooks for on a really low heat. The, the better the flavours taste. Just microwave these sweet potatoes and then I will show you the finished product. So sweet potatoes are done. This is how we're gonna plate, okay? Master chef style. Just made the guac. This is a winner. I've just smashed up an avocado, then cherry tomatoes, red onion, and then seasoned it and added lemon juice. This is legit. Sweet potato, turkey, mince, a la guac, a la guacamole. Anyway, just pretend it looks nice, it's gonna taste brilliant, goodbye. So we've got a burger situation going on here, the buns, the burgers, the salad, the pickles, garlic dip, all the condiments, and then sweet potato fries as well as sweet um, normal potato wedges. Boom! So this is just a clip of me to break up the fact that I've not been showing my face throughout this video. <laughs> Hello, hi. Yes, my t-shirt is creased. I really dislike ironing. Anyone else? You know at uni what I used to do if I wanted to wear something and it was like super creased, I would just get my hair straighteners and literally just straighten it that way. Fun fact. Anyway, moving back to the video. <laughs> So here is another super simple lunch idea using just everything in the house. So we've got a tin of tuna, I've used lettuce, onion, a bit of cabbage, baby tomatoes, some radishes, uh, some cucumber, uh, I like to add sweet corn as well. But you can literally pile it on some sun-dried tomatoes, some olives, some um, beetroot. I also love using pickles, but I think we've, we've run out. This could seem controversial to some people, but I actually do like adding an apple sometimes to a tuna salad. And strawberries also work. Just a little tip there, and then like dressings. We've got the mayo, sweet chilli sauce, sweet chilli sauce. Have it as salad, but I personally like to have it in a pitta. But of course you could make some, um, you know, some wraps. Get a tortilla wrap. You could also just have it on top of a jacket potato. Another tip, you could add some, you know, little seeds, pimp your salad up a little bit, or pumpkin seeds. There is a boiled egg as well in there. There's a salad, and then the fully loaded pockets. Super simple, literally takes no longer than, I don't know, three minutes. Just pointing it out though, that with salad cream is the winner.
Mm-hmm. Quick lunch situation. Boil some eggs. These are super, super small, hence why there are six here. Okay, so this is pretty much what you just saw me do, but um, clearly I didn't realise that I had already recorded a kind of a tuna concoction. But hopefully here you can just see each ingredient being added separately, so kind of easier to follow. Oh, and obviously if you aren't a fan of the pocket, then just boil up some pasta. Bish bash bosh, bam. Damn it, I just found this footage and I feel like this is more aesthetic. <laughs> How do you say this, Torongoyo? Um, roasted red peppers. <laughs> Games. Yeah. So I'm just basically frying up some um, cabbage, got some onions, got some courgette, mushroom, just whatever I can get my hands on really. <laughs> whatever is left in the supermarket is what we're gonna use. And then this broccoli just has a bit of salt, pepper, garlic, chili flakes and olive oil. And that I'm going to um, put in the air fryer. It comes out amazingly. I tried it not too long ago and it was amazing. These are from Naked Glory and it's best to actually cook from frozen. You've definitely seen these in another video because I love their products. They do burgers, sausages, the whole shebang, not sponsored, just feeling it. Okay, so another super simple lunch or dinner idea using cans and things that we probably all have at home. We're making a chili. I also really like making chili because you've got the option of like whether you want to have it with like sweet potato, jacket potato, or pasta, or pasta, some garlic bread rice we got options personally i really like having chili with sweet potato because of that contrast hack is if you put it in the slow cooker and then just leave it to cook on like a really low heat for like quite a few hours the flavors you will thank me later slight interruption i just want to say that you don't actually have to put things in the slow cooker it's just because i've been making things earlier to later eat in the day that i've put it in the slow cooker but you can throw in a pot what's the sauce um, we need pepper, we need oregano, basically whatever kind of spice you got going, we're gonna use. <laughs> Bit of chilli powder, maybe some cane as well. Just need celery, a red pepper, 
and an onion. I'm going to be using beef, but I do just want to point out that there are like really good meatless alternatives. Kidney beans, chopped tomato and some tomato puree. And that's about it. basically just want to fry up all these ingredients and also cook the meat a bit but then after the slow cooker is going to do everything. Once that is all softened then you cook the mince, add in the tomato and then all the seasoning. All of these are like soft enough so I'm just browning the meat. Worcester sauce kind of gives it an extra richness. Tin of chopped tomatoes, tomato puree. And have it later with sweet potatoes. I'm gonna put it on medium heat. And then taste test in a bit. <laughs> My favorite thing to do. That is cooking. I am about to tuck into <laughs> starters as a bowl of this chicken potato hot pot majig leftover tempeh. Getting in the goons. By the way, I am kind of only showing like full dishes and not all the like snacky bits in between and dips and whatnot. So just bear that in mind that um, I'm also human and I'm also lazy. <laughs> oh, and also because I'm putting healthy in the title, then obviously I'm being selective with what I put in this video. So I'm taking out snacks and whatnot. Otherwise, you guys will come for me like, yeah, that's really not that great for your health. You know what I mean. Yep, because this is going to go in the video of um, making things, whereas this yeah. isn't really. <laughs> is going on we have rice with peas chorizo chorizo peppers carrots a wild vino blanco has just appeared on the scene <laughs> um <laughs> i don't know if that's gonna add to the video but we also have um <laughs> yeah, but this, this isn't a spanish video <laughs> this is about this video is about what i eat in a in a week or something Also, if you guys are wondering why frankfurters are boiling in a pot, that's my brother's doing. Well, here comes copyright. <laughs> and talking of rice dishes, here is another dish. We've got white rice, we got brown rice, because no food discrimination here. We then got chicken, and yes, this is a Thai green chicken curry. We've got mon stu, pak choy, Thai green paste. Oh, and coconut milk. This is what I'm going to show you for this, so at least you'll get a nice dollop of coconut milk action, maybe. This is actually one of my favorite dishes. Pretty self-explanatory. But anyway, I'll move on to another dish where I actually talk you through it. Okay, bye. Okay, so for garnishing purposes, some shredded carrot, got some cucumber, we got the white rice, as well as the brown rice, Japanese katsu chicken curry, as well as Malaysian coconut curry. We got the veg. Uh, I mean, all you have to do is <laughs> is cook some chicken and use this. Sorry, no, no homemade things going on here. I miss you, Wagamamas. I miss you. So 
So I was actually going to do a whole section on different oat combinations, but then I thought, nah, you just need to watch that video where I followed your oatmeal recipes. She's back. Which means you have reached the end of the video. Just wanted to say thank you so much for sticking around, watching till the end. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. Hope I've given you a couple of recipe ideas, or if not, then at least entertained you for a hot minute. Thanks a lot for watching. Please stay safe, guys, and stay nice to my friends. And um, these are just, I don't even know, some footage that was going to go in this video and then I thought it's kind of dragging. So uh, here's just a bit of random footage. And if you are still watching this, <laughs> hello, hi, comment down below, Dorito. <laughs> You're the real MVP for sticking by throughout the whole video. Dips on dips on dips. I may be spooning um, chocolate spread straight out of the jar, but I did also have a banana balance and all that. And a matcha. Hummus. Have it with pita or have it with these like little garlicky bread majigs. Or also these breadsticks work really well or some carrots. Sorry, I'm not chopping them up to show you and present it nicely, but yeah, that's always an option. All the options.